shocking revelation about Japanese girls and Indian girls. The biggest economic might in the world. Japan and the climbing up economic giant India. And India celebrated today the National Girl Child's Day. It is one of the most beautiful, happiest day for the Indian people. And Kavita's husband, Handrupa, sent me this one and I liked it. It says, a world without a girl is impossible as a world without water. <laughs> what a poetry. And then read it up, some of them said it is picked up from Google, never mind. But the kukul or kakul, you got that feeling of picking up something and putting it up into your heart and then sharing it up with me is something great. And I was trying to tell my children, if somebody touches your feet or your guru's feet, Guru start thinking that he is something like a god and he demands work and money from them. Sometimes he put a plate next to him and he collects money also for touching his feet. But the real meaning of people surrendering and touching the feet is please like how you have become like a guru that you move the darkness and gives us light. Yes, like that, when we touch your feet, we are surrendered and the Guru's job is to make sure that he works very, very hard to make sure that person is taking very good care. So I told if Handrup has said this one and somebody gives you a clap, don't think you are something great. You should feel that person respected you and you must work harder because they have created a respect thinking. You are, you are known in this locality and they clapped you so that you work very hard to create more name in that locality. But when you climb Mount Everest, you cannot sit there for more than seconds. You already may come down. A world without a girl is impossible as a world without water. And the shocking revelation which came from the Japanese government was shocking. They said, after the Second World War, this is the lowest Statistic report which shows that marriages were not happening in Japan. Lowest marriage ever happened in Japan. And the population, hardly anybody is having babies in Japan. But the elderly people's population is increasing. That means Japanese government getting frightened of the money going to be spent for the elderly. But when children are not being born. When they asked the Japanese girls, why are you not getting married? They said, marriage? Who is going to support me financially? Rent is very high. The child is born. That a cost and the schooling cost, everything. See, they are calculating, but it was never there in India. A vast difference, not than the South Pole difference. But in Japan and India, even though Japan has picked up a lot of a philosophy and made one of the richest countries, cleanest country, but it, was it a greed country? Was it a country which is uh, pushed their people into the streets of Tokyo, big, big streets, and squeeze, squeeze them to make them a nobody, and now they are going to suffer? In India, not a single girl, national girl child, is celebrated. Not a single girl will feel or calculate this way. Marriage is marriage and the total family is celebrating the marriage. Everybody participates and the girl never feel frightened of her pregnancy or giving birth or who will take care of their uncles, aunties and all. In Japan that has been disconnected. They made them and nobody, they got them disconnected from the family. That was my fight from the last thousands, thousand and or days telling, go back to your family, family, sister, together, sister, place to go, grows together, whether you are dragged into the city, all the glitters is not the gold, and you're getting carried by the, all the glittering. And from your family, you have a joint family and the family tree. When you have that one, nobody is frightened. When the fear is not there, no diseases attack you. 
And when the government of India declares the National Girl Child Day, and all the factories starts pumping advertisements to telling the girl child should be educated and taken to the cities to give them jobs. But don't be like the Japanese. In a year, they give them only two days to leave to go and see their families back into the villages and non-stop work dumping them in small, small apartments like toilet kind of a rooms and kill them without love, without affection. That does not go to that tradition. We do not want what the... Uh, the when they were asked by the Bhutan king about the GDP of the country, they had the lowest GDP in the world, poorest country. And the Bhutan king said, in our country, we do not calculate GDP by the amount of money you make, but the GDP is calculated on the amount of happiness of my people. My people are happy. We first look into the happiness. Let us look into the happiness of our girl child in India, about our women in India. Then you can call National Girl Child Day. Otherwise, we are lost. We are losing even in the cities. Girls are finding difficulty, boys are finding difficulty to find a match in our family tradition, in our customs in India. Nobody worries, nobody goes in search for a girl or a boy because the family and the joint family and the family tree has got 800 and thousands of families and among them they, they say this girl is yours, that boy is your boy and they accept it because they do not worry about whether the boy is good or bad. The family is good because the family stands tall, strong, there is no fear. <laughs> There is no fear of where the food is coming. Food is shared, clothes are shared, love is shared, happiness is shared. And in the cities of Tokyo, in the cities of big cities of India, metropolitan cities of India or Western countries, there is no family. There is no joint family. There is only fear of giving your money before you turn around that family starts living in fear, loans, shocks. Hence I thought ours was the best society, best culture society where there is no fear. And it is everybody's duty like the Kaiser, start one a day, one improvement on your family a day, make a call to one family member. In 365 days, you get 365 families calling, connecting, go back to your family. Fear of getting married. Fear of old age will never be there. You never go to the hospital because when fear is not there, you never fall sick. Let us all pray that this National Girl Child Day is turned to rebuilding our family tradition. The family which sits together, the joint family which connects back, knitted back, and the family tree which connects the roots so deep down and you can stand tall in the toughest of the wind. Nobody can break it down. Happy National Girl Child.